Then I look at what happened the year after, what happened the year after that, and, and the proof is in the pudding. If next year I come and I finish mid-table and start pushing up the league and start going up the league, people then have to say, actually, is that the right way to do this? He's, he's developing a local talent that can then feed into the programme and we're giving local people the opportunity to play in the highest level with the best players in the league and maybe offering them that. The England team then gets stronger. Players start developing. The whole programme is, is sustainable. Not teams that have come, throw money at the league and then struggle to find other sponsorships. If all the sponsorships all of a sudden, if, if the recession carries on, do these teams still be here? Will, will, will big companies say, oh yeah, I can still throw in 40, 40 50,000 to your programme? Will that still make that team stay, stay here? I don't know. We can say that, yet we haven't been the best team in the league. We've seen that. I'm not daft. But what I can say is, my players have given everything, developed it. If someone comes up to me in 10 years' time and goes, well, why, why have you got every record under the sun of uh, losing and that? I'll say, well, but the second year we finished mid-table, the third year we were top four, five, and then we were here and we're still here ten years down the line. I'll be quite happy then. If, if I don't achieve that, that's when I'll be upset, not the fact of all these losses. If I don't achieve the vision that I see and bring the right people in to help me achieve that, then, then I'll be upset, not what happened this year. It's been very, very difficult. Um, I mean, there's been, there's been, I mean, we're all pretty tight as a group. The guys, you know, we're all, we're all good friends and, uh, and whatever else, but we, it's not enough to get the job done at the end of the day. And sometimes we, uh, we need to be bigger and better than that and take, take more of a professional responsibility. Um, and, I mean, it's easy to wax lyrical about these things, but actually doing it has, has proven very difficult for us this season. Um, I hope I hope we get a chance to come back and, and, and prove it wrong, really, and, and prove that we can, we can actually compete and play at this level and uh, make the people who've come and watched us all season proud of something, you know, that there's an end product there rather than just any kind of building that we've done off the court, which, albeit, is a positive step. Um, I think we really need to kick on now because it's not been good enough this year. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with what's going on and the development that I've done. As I said, I've closed down on teams. Um, I can see the future plan. If there wasn't a future plan there, I don't think I'd have stayed with this club. Um, but the owners have got the same vision as me. They're quite happy to support me. They, they support the players. They look after the players. You know, We just push forward. I think um, I see a future for Mersey Tigers. And as I told the uh, supporters on Friday, I believe that we can build from this, get stronger and keep going, keep building and keep going forward.